Hello again, welcome to my video lessons and in this video today we will discuss uh, the characteristics of the yahoos. Now what are yahoos? Uh, we are discussing Gulliver's Travels which is a novel give a long reading text prescribed by the CBSC for the ninth standard and in the last part of the novel Gulliver discusses the honnims and the yahoos and uh, in the last part uh, the writer Jonathan Swift describes a utopia in which these two types of animals are uh, shown in contrast to highlight the uh, virtues of the homonyms. Now then let's discuss the this yahoos and uh, students may find this question asked uh, find this question in the examination in the second semester examination and in the board examination also. So what are uh, yahoos then? The yahoos are actually a despicable animal, disgusting animal that Gulliver found in the land of the Honinims. They had patches of hairs on their bodies and they had long claws, they used to climb fast, they used to run fast, then they had, uh, they were quite uh, stinky, obnoxious and uh, Gulliver, nobody could like them for any reason at all. And uh, these are the most basic qualities Gulliver has mentioned about the Yahoos. And he has actually given us uh, some nine or ten points about the Yahoos. The first point is that the Yahoos fought over food among themselves. If you gave two yahoos the food that can feed 20 to 50 yahoos, they would not share. Instead of sharing, they would fight for position, they would fight to have all the food. Each of them would fight to have all the food for himself or herself. This is uh, a quality that Gulliver observed in the yahoos. And uh, apart from fighting for food, they also fought for no reason at all. Sometimes they would fight and when the fight started they would uh, all the other, other yahoos also join the fight and it would ultimately become a gang fight. And uh, apart from fighting without any reason they also fought over gems. What are gems? Uh, gems are shiny stones and uh, Honinim the master horse finds it curious that the yahoos were so fond of these shiny stones which can be, could be found underground. Whenever they knew that there were gems around they would go to that place, they would flock that place and then they would dig up all the gems and would fight for position. And when they could get them, and if they could get them they would hide them in a safe place. And uh, to see the reaction of the yahoos if they lost these shiny stones, the master horse once had some gems stolen from a yahoo. The yahoo had hid them in a safe place. Uh, the master horse him saw it, the master horse saw it and had the gems stolen to see how they reacted, how he reacted. And uh, curiously when the yahoo found that, discovered that his gems were missing, he started howling and crying and quarreling with everybody until the gems were restored were given back the yahoos acted crazily and he it was it became impossible for anybody to approach him and when he found the stones back he took them away and hid them in a different place and uh, in their when they fought they fought very viciously they fought as viciously as they fought uh, as viciously with their females as they fought with their males and this is another curious factor it says that the yahoos had no respect and love and tenderness for their female counterparts so these are the most basic qualities that uh, uh, where we can see that they are always fighting for one reason or the other Another curious thing the, notice, uh, the master horse noticed in the yahoos is that the honinims would choose, sorry, the yahoos would choose 
the worst among them as the leader instead of choosing the best among them as the leader and when one becomes a leader he immediately appoints a sidekick a flatterer or a sycophant or a bootlicker as his helper as his assistant and the assistant had anything but to drive uh, food and females into his kennels and the females also had some despicable characteristics he said that the females were uh, lustful flirtatious and they would drive other male yahoos to their kennels uh, entice and lure male yahoos to their kennels for sex and their bodies they also looked very ugly they had uh, sagging breasts that uh, sagged and touched the ground almost the ex actually from the point of view gulliver projects these yahoos uh, jonathan swift actually projects these yahoos as despicable creatures to be uh, simple and to uh, be fair another quality of the yahoos is that they uh, like to drink the juice of a particular plant and uh, why did they like to drink the juice because it drove them crazy it it made them insensible it made them lose their senses just like we human beings become when we are intoxicated they have this juice have the roots as a uh, to to get intoxicated and to get high and when they do this they become funny and curious ridiculous in the eyes of the homonyms another quality of the yahoos is that they feel depressed they uh, have bouts of depression they fall into depression and when they fall into depression they retire into a corner and uh, start crying and wailing and uh, making a lot of noise and nobody could approach them the yahoos the other yahoos could not approach uh, the depressed yahoo and the only way to drive a yahoo out of depression was to drive him to work and uh, when he was driven to work they immediately lost their depression and uh, the honeyman thinks the master horse thinks that uh, the yahoos were basically lazy and to and to find an excuse to not work they acted as if they were depressed and uh, apart from this gulliver also mentions that the yahoos had despicable food habits they ate everything and anything that came out into their way and they would sometimes mix all the food and they would also eat rotten flesh and this is quite uh, curious and ridiculous for the honeyman and because of their nasty food habits the yahoos fell ill easily every now and then while the master horse the race of the horse never fell ill because they maintained health they maintained uh, good food habits and also they maintained they exercised and worked out regularly these are the qualities that you should discuss when you write your answer for the examination of the yahoos and uh, remember to and also you should also remember that uh, you would be given a word limit and you should limit your answer to the word limit even though you have to mention all these points please take care that you do not cross the limit because if you cross the limit you will end up wasting your time thank you very much for watching my video lessons please subscribe to it subscribe to my channel thank you very much again